everyone, welcome to the restaurant show. And I don't know about you, but this summer has been hot. And maybe we want to eat just a little bit lighter. And today, we've got the best show for it. We're going to meet with Amy from Skillets, and she's going to show us some great summer salads. Then we're going to go over to Breakwater in Beaufort. We're going to enjoy some creme brulee. Then we're going to come back right over, back over that bridge, and we're going to head over to the lodge and see what they have new for this summer. So stay tuned. We've got a lot of great eating ahead. Welcome back to the restaurant show, and I have got owner of Skillets here, Amy Baima. And did I ever say that right? Baima. You did. I did. See, at first <laughs> I thought I was like, I always say it wrong. All right. Um, and you know, and I'm going to say it this way: we've known each other for a long time, and I know we were going to mention at the end, but you've been in business a long time. I have <laughs> is 20 years, and August marks our 20-year celebration. I just got the chills. That's a big deal. What was I thinking? Uh, you're right. Well, you know what? <laughs> and I'm going to say it's a big deal because. Um, and I'm speaking for probably a lot of women in this industry. It's a tough industry for women, and I think you have really done a great job of kind of not paving the way because you're not, you're not. It's not like you're, the, you're old, <laughs> but you know, you you've been in this business a long time, and I think a lot yeah. of um, women in this field look up to you. So mm -hmm. just wanted to Thank say you. that real quick. But um, yeah. okay, now let's dig into food. <laughs> Why you've stayed in business for so long? <laughs> These beautiful salads. Yeah, I well, love it. You know, it's July. It's hot. You this. come up off the beach. Yes. So I thought maybe we'd feature some of our salads so that you know you know you need to eat something yeah. and just to kind of share some options that we yeah. have. Yeah, and the um, you know we eat with our eyes. Everything here. I just want to dig into because I want to pick some of this and this <laughs> and this the, because the colors and you know everything's fresh. Yes. It's that se season where the tomatoes are fresh, the lettuces. Everything was just picked probably a few days ago, yes, which is yes. great. Okay, so what do we start with? I don't, well, I don't even know which one to start with yet. Let's start with this one. This is a really popular for us. It's a fandango mango chicken salad. Fandango mango chicken salad. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's got mandarin oranges, papaya, mm -hmm. oh. blue cheese. Hearts of palm, right? Um, I generally I do it with the this chicken. Hearts of palm. It's almost like the family of artichoke, yes. right? Okay, yes. so that that type of um, consistency yeah. to it. Now we always do it with chicken, but okay. I have a lot of people that come in and request uh, shrimp, grilled shrimp. Which, okay, so basically any of these salads you can really yes. add the grilled shrimp, and I love. Yes. You always have nice big juicy yes. shrimp. Okay, so that's kind of that one there. Um, that. We serve that with our house key lime vinaigrette. Key oh yes, <laughs> that key lime. Vinaigrette. It's so good. Okay, now this looks like traditional classic. Yep. Right. Can't go wrong with a this. chef's salad. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, put that one. We've down. got we'll our that, ham. Yeah. We've got our turkey, uh, assorted cheeses. Yeah. Obviously, lettuce, onion, cucumbers, tomatoes, some egg too. And see, I love how it's all laid out like that because literally, I would just pick pieces and eat it. And I was it, picking the pieces. You know. <laughs> that is, and this is uh, your just traditional club. Yes. Love it. That is gorgeous. Okay, we'll move this one over. Turkey okay. cob. Mm, my daughter our would definitely. Blue cheese, yep. bacon, turkey over spinach. Now this one comes over okay, spinach. Okay, you know what? I was looking at it, but yeah, it's this one's over oh, spinach. Oh, and there's guac. And guacamole as well okay. with the tomatoes. What a nice combination. So really and let me point something out because these are the kind of things that, like I said, kept Damien in business for this song. That bacon. Oh. Gorgeous. You're chopping that bacon. That. Oh, yeah. That's not little tiny pieces no. of bacon bits. It's time and it's effort to actually take bacon and chop it up. Yes. I love it. Yes. I love it. Okay, that one I would dig in. The olives would be gone in a second. <laughs> this one is our cold seafood salad. Okay. And it is a mixture of scallops, shrimp, and crab meat. Now that's the salad With that's right there. So you already mixed that up mm -hmm. and it, it's a scoop on top of the on fresh of romaine. Yeah. Okay. And we use fresh dill in it. Great. And that's a little tip for you guys. You know, I know a lot of people are making tuna salad now at home and just because it is summertime yeah. and you have access to a little more seafood, um, mixing that up and just adding some dill, I think, adds up it that brightness. A bit, well, that and a little bit more zest in Yeah, it absolutely. It. Absolutely. So this and then, um, now, let me, I know this one comes with that key lime. What dressings that you prefer? You can choice. Pick whatever your choices okay. are on all the dressings. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. I'm gonna move this and then I just kind of brought. A Caesar a salad, just a regular Caesar salad. My kids love Caesar, so. But I wanted to show you could top it with shrimp, chicken, yeah, or fresh oh, salmon. Oh, and the even. salmon! Your salmon is you know. awesome. So this is, um, so you can add this to your Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm sure there's probably your house salad. Yes. Oh, wait, and you guys have your salad bar. Salad okay. bar. Fill us in on the salad bar. <laughs> well, you can do the salad bar alone. And I think we're going to show you a picture of the salad bar, too. Yes. So that should be coming up on the screen. And Or you can do a soup and salad. Or you can add a salad bar to any of the entrees. 
So, so if, if I'm you... getting that great platter, you, she brought the seafood platter in one of our past shows, <laughs> and um, that is gorgeous, but you can add a the salad bar, salad to, bar it. to it. Yes. Perfect. Any of our lunch or dinner entrees, you can add a salad bar. It's set up at 11 and runs until 10 o'clock. Okay, at night. so you can go in and get your salad, um, get the salad bar. You can get it either with soup and salad, just the salad bar. Because I know sometimes, although I love all these, and I'll be, some people like to put exactly what they, they want. want. And the portions that they want. Yes, absolutely. You know. And it's a, buffet, it's a salad bar, though, but so you can go through it more than once. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Oh, what a value, especially nowadays. Especially yeah. because, you know, I know the seafood, um, you can add seafood and stuff like that to it, but if you just want to go in and have a great salad. That's the way to go, and then that way you can also, everything's nice and fresh, and you can make it as you please, put the dressing on as you want, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And it's so hot, like I said, this time of the year, it's nice to have some different options, yeah. so I want to show a couple different, everyone that does know we have the salad bar, but also know we do do a wide variety yeah. of other salads for everyone Because some people to don't want to think about what they're going to put on their salad. <laughs> they're like, can you just make it Or they for want me? to be waited on. Yes, you know? exactly. I just want to come in, I just want yes, to sit down. I don't want to think about make it. Make the decision for me. <laughs> I, I think I've been there a few times this past week. Um, yes. Okay, and then another question really quick. What, um, what days of the week now, since it is summertime, I know sometimes hours change for different businesses. What do you have as far as your hours We're for summertime? We're open every day from 7 in the morning to 10 p.m. at night. And we serve continuously, so it doesn't matter what time you come up off the beach or off the golf course. Right. Swing in, we've always got something going and for you. And so that, I'm guessing then from 7, uh, what about breakfast? How long do you do breakfast 7 for? to 4.30. Okay, so you can get breakfast all day long. You That's can still awesome. come in and get that waffle top with yeah, the fruit and whipped cream. Yeah, I know. And the butter, um, and the butter pecan. <laughs> uh, the, pecan butter. I yes. say that backwards, but yes, that's fantastic. Okay, so um, just to reiterate, because I know it is summertime, you got all your specials going on. Do we have entertainment right now? Not right now. Not right now, yeah, I was going to say, because yeah. it's so hot. It is. It's Who wants to sit outside? Sometimes it is. But you know, no. but if you are coming off the beach and you've got all your gear on, they do have outdoor seating. Yes. They welcome the puppies and the dogs, as always, because they have that great outdoor seating there. And remember, they also have the salad bar, so if you want something quick, too, quick to come in, quick to go out, and all fresh, fresh food. Food. Yes. And more importantly, any big plans or we'll be hearing about the 20th anniversary? We'll be hearing about it very shortly. Love it. Congratulations. That really is <laughs> a big you. accomplishment. Thank so you very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much you guys for joining and we'll be back in just a few minutes. Thank you so much Amy for those beautiful summer salads and again congratulations on a great 20 years on Hilton Head Island. And up next I have Chef Megan Horn from Breakwater over there in Beaufort, South Carolina. We're going to enjoy some creme brulee. Hi everyone, welcome to the restaurant show and I have the wonderful and fantastic chef Megan Horn from Breakwater and uh, we have a lot of fun things to talk about today actually. We do, we do. Dessert and wine. Yes, yes. <laughs> you can't go not wrong. Much better, not yeah. much better than that. You're staying for the whole time. Guys. You're not even going to turn the channel. So um, we're going to start out with the creme brulee. Yes. A classic. Yes. Okay, tell me what's in it because it looks like there are not very many fat free things going on. It's okay, <laughs> sometimes you'll sweat it off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is Gary's very easy, simple creme brulee recipe. Which is even better because yes. then this is, I don't know if Simplicity. you want to try it at home, but definitely it has just really good ingredients. It does. It, which makes it, does. it fantastic. So the basis are cream and eggs. But heavy cream. But heavy cream, yes. Heavy cream yes. is key. Heavy okay, cream so is heavy cream. cream and eggs. Yes. And then what's the sweetness? Just good old sugar. Sugar. Yes, ma'am. So it sounds so simple, doesn't it? But <laughs> if I go to a restaurant and order creme brulee, I'm like, ooh, I'm fancy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one-handed crack. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Hoppa! <laughs> and she still does it with one hand. <laughs> All right, so we're just using good old, what, four, four eggs here? Mm -hmm. The whole egg, not just the yolk. Correct. Um, so the whole thing we're using. All right. Give it a quick, quick scramble. All right. And this is something that um, you offer all the time in the restaurant? Yes. Okay, great. All right, then just add in your heavy cream. Good old heavy cream. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I want to dip French toast in it too. Just, yes, that so would good be good. Things, right? That would be good. All right, then we do about a teaspoon of and vanilla. Vanilla. Any specific kind of vanilla? Does it? You know, I know there's so many out there. There's like Tahitian there's, vanilla, and all, that one is nope. a Gahara vanilla. Yep. No, I just regular it. old vanilla extract will do fine. And not the spend the money on the extract, don't you think? Yes. Don't get yes. the um, the one that what is it? The it's like. Imitation vanilla. Imitation but, vanilla. Like, don't yes. spend the money. It's not no, worth it. No. You end up using twice as much and it doesn't even taste as good. Correct. Yes. Oh, you can smell that. It's 
so good. All right. You make it look so sick. So don't tell me that this is all you this do. This is it. What? <laughs> Don't tell me that because I'm making yes. all the time at home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Mom, is it time to make fried filet? Sure. Let's do it. All right, then you just have your little, you can have any kind of baking dish okay, that will so fit. Okay, so this would just be like this a good old tart mm -hmm. or something like yes. that. Okay. Now, this is actually something you could do. Like oh, of course. For, like mm -hmm. your guests. I know they yes. sell these like at Pier mm -hmm. 1. Very easy to get. Yes. Um, and all individual size. Yes. Just show that. I mean, I'm sure everyone probably has a few of those at their house. Yes. Um, okay, so this is something. You know, I guess we'll pour up here. So this, we just put this. Yes, so right you want to leave. Fill it about three quarters of the way full. It won't okay. rise. It's not rising. Yes. Okay, so wherever, is... however full you fill it, that's as full as it'll be. Now, for once those you of you it. who haven't had creme brulee, it's like a custard. Yes. Right. So mm -hmm. that's what it, it's not going to be. It's like she said, it doesn't rise. It's not a cake Correct. because we haven't added any flour or yeast Correct. to it. But um, but it's going to be that nice, creamy, beautiful custard. Yes. Okay. So then, what do we do for here? All right, so um, after you fill as many dishes as you want to bake, right. um, the important aspect of baking a brulee, a creme brulee, is the water bath. Okay, so we would put this like in a pan. Yes, a bigger pan. With water. Yes. So obviously then the water is only going to come up how high on this? About no more than halfway. No more than halfway. So yes, really. So my, I guess your, my tip or my asking, we want to add the water after, like if we put this inside the pan. Yes, oh wanna, yes, <laughs> yes. I like it. <laughs> Water. <laughs> yes, yes. So we'll put these in. Pick your dishes then in, then we'll add, add your water. water. Yes, ma'am. And is it hot water or is it cold water? Um, I've I've always used just regular old water. A lot right, of people right. say adding hot water, but it eventually will heat up in It'll the oven. And yes. then what do I bake it at in the oven? Um, we bake ours at 325 degrees so it's a for 45 lower. minutes. Oh, so it's a low and slow process yes. because you don't want it to become like scrambled eggs. Correct. Gotcha. Okay. And that's so, what the water bath helps with as and well. And that's what the water, and that's important to do the water bath because yes. otherwise you will literally just be, be baking correct. eggs. Correct. Then you can make quiche. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's a whole other quiche show. Quiche brulee. Yeah. Quiche brulee. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. So after I do that, so this is, let's just kind of set that aside. What do, I know you brought a little finished product yes, I over did. here. And of course, what, this is just a plain creme brulee. You want right. to add fruit or anything to it. You can just go ahead and mix it in your batter Okay, so batter this then. is, when would I add the fruit in? Because it is summertime. They're so, it's so easily accessible to like berries, mm -hmm. all kinds of berries. Um, would I add, would I bake it in with it? Yes. Ah, yes. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's put this up here so we can see it in the camera. All right, all right. Then, this then, is the fun step. Yeah. This and is when I would not ex try at home. Like I would figure <laughs> out a different way to do it. Right, then just pile your sugar on top, just like this that. Just good old white sugar. Yes. And then just make sure you get an even coating. That is so awesome. I can't oh, believe how easy like that is. That recipe, before you torch it up, which I love, um, be about you used about four eggs. How correct. many could that probably, that's probably at least at four to six servings, yes, right? Yes, correct. So, and if you do smaller ones, that would be great even, for a party. Correct. Can I leave these out? Is no. this, yeah, you can't. No. Make, okay, so if we're gonna serve it, you need to serve yes. it right there and then. And of course, you can always you can bake them the night before. Right. Just wrap oh. them and leave them in the okay. fridge, and then okay. brulee them right before you serve them. Right before you serve them, and again, not something that you just want to leave out like on a buffet table. Correct. Because otherwise, they'll be like, oh, yes. melt. Okay. All right, let's torch it up, sister. <laughs> I love it. And now I know we talked part. about that we also are gonna have wine, so go ahead and torch okay. up. Um, I know that you all have. I love that. I'm sorry I'm not talking, but I'm kind of, when there's fire, I'm like, oh, fire. <laughs> and you just, oh, and you can smell it starting mm -hmm. to caramelize. That is fantastic. And that's the best part, is that crunchy yes. part. And then you take off the crunchy part yep. and you dip it into the custard <laughs> without a fork. Yes. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Now, you didn't have a, I mean, you have to kind of have a little flame to do this at home. If yes. you're gonna just, unless you want to stick it in the no. broiler, but yes. that's, that you just make sure you absolutely have yes. to watch it. Okay, so real quick. A blowtorch is a necessity in any kitchen yes, anyway. Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love it. And then we have little hand ones that yes. you can get. Um, real quick then, we're just gonna touch base. You had a very successful wine around the world dinner. Correct. Last month, so this month, Reservations. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. And what you're doing is um, featuring. What are you featuring at these wine dinners? Um, each uh, dinner is a different country. Okay. We're featuring the wines from separate countries. So we have ah. Italy, Spain, France. Um, our the one last month was summer wines. And is there a food pairing with it then? There are. There is. Um, we do have past apps. Just oh, a yeah. few. Yeah. Um, and then you're more than welcome to stay for dinner I after. I love it. I love it. So make sure you call on that one because the one's going to be coming up soon. Correct. All right. Great. Thank you so much again, Thank Megan. You. I really appreciate it. Hope the summer's going well for yes. you. Yes. And um, we will be back in just a moment.
And up next, I have Justin from The Lodge, and he's going to share what new dips and chips they have, and even some new desserts. Welcome to the restaurant show, and I have one of my dear friends here, Justin. Hi guys. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> He's going to tell us all about the lodge and what's been going on. And just so y'all know, the lodge has actually it's changed over the few years. Definitely. Um, it used to be cigars, martinis. Obviously, cigars are not allowed anymore. So we've really changed it, and we've brought some food in. It's definitely more family friendly now. Lots of families yeah. are coming in. Oh well, there's kids. families in there now. Families in there, <laughs> kids in there. Yeah, absolutely. Great time, games to play. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, and so what we brought out is you brought out some of the munchy things, mm -hmm. and I think um, these are definitely all kid friendly. And not that not that the lodge is all like kid friendly now, but the fact of the matter that kids are allowed in there mm -hmm. now to eat, and there's a lot of things that um, the kids like to eat there, exactly. which is really surprising. Absolutely. While your dad or mom can enjoy a nice three dollar draft on Mondays. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. So what do we have here? We have our homemade kettle chips here. Okay. Uh, which is home fried there, right? Right fried at the lodge. Right, right at the lodge every day, fresh. Okay. And then what do we have here? This is I this, love this. These are awesome. This is our mac and cheese bites. Okay. It's it's I mac like and this. cheese, breaded and deep fried. Oh, it's, so it's low fat. Absolutely, fry, mm, we fry delicious. the fat right out of it. I love it. And then what? I know you guys serve it with this sauce right here. Absolutely, right? this is our sriracha mayo. Okay. A little dip of that. It's got a little tang to it, a little bite. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Mm, that is good. And it is fat free. Absolutely. Okay, so that's this sauce right here, right? Yep, that's our it, sriracha it mayo. It definitely has a little bit of a kick to mm -hmm. it. And then what is this one? This one has even more of a kick. That one's our habanero ketchup. I love habanero ketchup. Roasted habaneros. Mmm, delicious. Okay, and I know I, what I'm already going to dip it in, which you're going to bring up right now, right? This is our basil pesto mayo. Mm -hmm. My favorite. And right next to it, I think you already had out there. We already have our, our Sweetwater 420 cheese sauce. So Sweetwater 420 cheese sauce, what exactly is that? Sweetwater 420 is a pale ale okay. uh, brewed in Atlanta, okay. and we've turned it into a cheese sauce. So a lot of the things um, at the lodge right now, as far as food orientation, um, a lot of it has some of the beer mm -hmm. cooked Absolutely. into it. Yeah. I know that's one of the we things do, that we we're trying we to do. We have the Stone Burger. It's a smoked porter, uh, stoned uh, beer that we have on tap, right, and we right. use that to make the onions that yeah. we put on top of the burger. Okay, and so you guys are um, incorporating that into it. Now, mm -hmm. these are the tater tots, which everybody loves. Yes. And I know one question, they're always like, don't you have french fries? No, no we, we stepped it up fries. a notch. We're, <laughs> we're doing tater tots. We stepped it up to tots. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and so all of these, now tater tots always come with different sauces. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that's new and different at the lodge. Yes. All of the um, great different sauces that you guys yes, have. Yes, they're homemade sauces and that's what we're really featuring. Right, and this is like, and I don't know about you, but I'm a total dipper. Yes. Right? Yes. And this cheese? is definitely the place for dippers. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Not dippers like in your <laughs> mouth dipper, but dipper eating. Okay. So aside from these great little munchies, and I'm gonna just put these all over here. You also have what is one of the best nights now oh, at the lodge? Oh, you have to come it's in. It's like for, crazy. You have to come in for for dollar pasta night on Monday nights. Okay, so this is the dollar pasta night, and I'm mm -hmm. going to put that over there and so we'll for get a, a picture of it. For a dollar, you've got your pasta, and you have your choice. We have a red sauce, and we have a garlic sauce. Okay, so right here, I have. So we're going to start with, out with a dollar. This yes. is a dollar right this here. This is a dollar. Right? This is what you get for a one dollar. One dollar. Plus, at four o'clock, we start doing our three dollar drafts. Ah, so and you guys have. Um, I say you guys because I'm there too. So <laughs> we have um, 36 rotating drafts, yes. right? And um, plus a ton in a bottle. And, yeah, and like it's like a hundred yes. different bottles that yes. we have over there. But um, the three dollar draft is really cool because you can try some of these different beers Absolutely. that normally are like six dollars, seven dollars. Yes. So okay, so this is a buck, right? For a buck, you get this. Mm, delicious. I can take you out on a date now. <laughs> okay, what else can I add on there for another dollar? And then for one more dollar, you can add your choice. You have for one more dollar. For one more dollar, we have our sausage. Italian sausage. Italian okay. sausage. Or we have meatballs. Ah, so if I put, if I get um, red sauce and two sausage or two meatball like this for here, three dollars. That's only three bucks. That is three so dollars. fantastic. I love it. And. Um, when does it start? Four o'clock, right? Starts at four o'clock. Goes all night till ten o'clock. But um, a lot of times we've been running out because there's a lot. We run of out early. You definitely want to come in early for it. Okay, and then of course every table is going to have, a parm you have unlimited have, Parmesan cheese. You can't absolutely. Go wrong you have to that. have Parmesan cheese. You have to have red pepper flakes. What about and, the and bread? our homemade toasted garlic bread? Okay, and you get this with it too. Yes. 
and that is three dollars. Three dollars. I love it, and I would put extra cheese on it. And if this isn't enough for you, you can always come back. For it's more. like you can keep asking for keep more, right? Keep more, absolutely. I love it. What a deal! And I'm telling you what, you guys, it has definitely become like a local hangout on absolutely. Monday night, don't you think? It's the people that are coming in, the regulars are coming back for yeah. more. They come back every Monday for it. And I think some of the guests that come that are not visiting, or that are visiting, they're kind of like, this place is crazy. Yes. And they're like, yeah, it is yeah, crazy. Absolutely. Because it's dollar pasta night. All right. <laughs> okay, so another thing, though, that is new at the lodge, I'm going to kind of move this out of the way, yep. is you guys, um, we're doing desserts now there. Yes. Right? But this is actually from... Mama's. This is a One Hot Mama's dessert, but we serve it at the lodge as well. We do have a couple of other desserts there other than the key lime, but this is our, our homemade key lime pie. It's made at Mama's, but we serve it at the lodge. Right. It's delicious. It's and the it's best kind key of lime. crazy because, um, you know, we do martini night. We have $2 martinis every Tuesday night. It starts at, again at 4 o'clock, goes all night long. Right. And, um, and uh, with martini night, you know, a lot of people are coming in and it's really hot out. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of people don't necessarily, they don't want to necessarily eat, sit down and have a right. full meal. Exactly. So some munchies. Yes. And then a little bit of dessert. Maybe a little dessert you can split with somebody. Right. While absolutely. you're enjoying a martini. It's definitely becoming, I'm going to, let's put some cream yeah, in there. Absolutely. But it's definitely becoming one of the places that I think people didn't think of for food. Yes. Before. And now with all the great food options, um, I definitely think it's becoming a place to go yes. and to hang out. And not it's a just great hangout, conversation. Everybody's having a great time. Yeah, um, and the prices are really good, especially yeah. so. Just, Dollar pasta. Yeah. Can you go over again really quick? What are so? What are some of the specials during the week? During the week, we have Monday night dollar pasta mm -hmm. night, and we also do three dollar drafts. Okay. Um, Tuesday night we have the um, martini night, two dollar martinis. It's a great deal. Good deal. And then on and on um, the weekends, on you the weekend, serve until when? Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're going to stay open till two o'clock in the morning, serving right. our menu. Awesome. And of course, the fantastic lodge burgers, which mm -hmm. actually we were voted for. Best um, burger. Best burger. So we can't um, complain about that. And hopefully you guys can come in and check it out. And again, um, kitchen open till 12, but on the weekends till 2, two o'clock in the morning. Absolutely. So if you have a craving for any of this good stuff, come on in. Um, we don't take reservations. Not yet. It's not that hoity-toity. So. <laughs> but we're definitely going to be glad to have you guys in. And thank you so much, Justin. Thank you. For showing off some good stuff. Glad to come in. All right. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. I hope that the summer is treating you well. I hope that you're enjoying all the Low Country has to offer as far as their fantastic light salads and seafood, and of course, great key lime desserts. And just remember, always have fun this summer eating your way through the Low Country.